All right, what's going on guys? You're probably a little bit confused by the title of this video. I don't know, I just thought it would kind of be a funny title, but at the same time, it's also very accurate. Activision literally reached into the backpack, pulled out the AK, extended mag, and they're ADSing right now. They're aiming down sights. They got quick draw on, so we literally cannot move. But basically, there's been a lot of confusion recently about what's going on with the whole Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered situation. People are wondering whether or not you actually need to own the Infinite Warfare disc in order to play Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, obviously, the reason people want to know this is because what people are going to do is buy Infinite Warfare on release day, get Modern Warfare Remastered, and then turn around and sell Infinite Warfare back to GameStop or whoever the fuck, it doesn't matter. I don't know how much money you would get for selling a new game back on the first day. Probably like $40 or something, maybe $30. GameStop kind of rips people off, so I don't know. But you'd end up paying like $40 or $50 for Modern Warfare Remastered instead of $80 that you would normally have to pay. So you do save some money. Obviously, the ideal situation would be that they sell both of the games separately and you can just purchase each one individually. But of course, I mean... We know that's not going to happen, at least not for a while. I think eventually they might release Modern Warfare Remastered as a separate game, but for now, that's definitely not happening. So, what do we know about all of this? Well, first, let me just read you a couple things. First, we have this from the official Call of Duty website. They asked the question, will Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered come as a separate disc? No. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game digital download that will be included in the Legacy, Legacy Pro, and Digital Deluxe. Deluxe editions of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare internet connection required. Alright, so this answers a pretty big question. We know that Modern Warfare Remastered will not be on a separate disc. It's going to be a digital download. So basically what people could do is you would think that you could like literally go into GameStop, buy Infinite Warfare, open it up right there in GameStop, take out the little piece of paper with the Modern Warfare Remastered code on it, close up your case and sell it right back to them without even leaving the store. That's that's what people were planning on doing, but we may have a problem with that. So let me read you this fine print on the Call of Duty website as well. They just added this in. At launch, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered will contain only 10 multiplayer maps from the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare game. Additional multiplayer maps will be made available by 12-31-2016. We already knew this information. This is the good part. Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game download, and then in parentheses it says, game disc must be inserted to play Modern Warfare Remastered. Internet connection required for more information, please visit callofduty.com slash MWRFAQ. Alright, so what does this mean? Well, I think the key point we need to look at is that it said game disc must be inserted to play Modern Warfare Remastered. And since we know that Modern Warfare Remastered is not going to be on a disc, that it is going to be digital download, they've already confirmed that, the disc that they're talking about is Infinite Warfare. So basically it confirms that in order to play Modern Warfare Remastered, you also have to own the Infinite Warfare disc. You can't get rid of it. I don't know how it would work because it seems to me that like all you would need is the full game digital download to play it. I don't know why you would need the disc. I think they just, you know, linked them together just for no reason, literally. I don't think they had to link them together. They literally just did that so that people couldn't sell Infinite Warfare back. And that is why I titled the video Activision is holding us hostage because they kind of are. You, you're either forced to keep Infinite Warfare or you can't play Modern Warfare Remastered. You have no other options, so I think that's kind of fucked up. But at the same time, I do understand why. I think we all understand why they've done that. Because if they didn't set it up like this, I know a large percentage of people would do exactly what I said and sell Infinite Warfare right away and probably never even play the game. And obviously, Activision doesn't want that from a business standpoint for two reasons. Because, well, number for one, it looks bad if nobody is playing their game. Call of Duty has already been like hiding the amount of people that are online in each of the last like three CODs because they're embarrassed about it or whatever. I don't know. Well, quit making fucking shitty games and then you'd have more people playing them. I don't understand what's wrong with you. But number two, and actually now that I think about it, this is probably the more important reason. If people aren't playing their game, then people won't be spending any money on supply drops or DLC. You wouldn't be buying DLC 
DLC or supply drops for a game that you don't even own. So to fix this, Activision came up with the brilliant idea to make it where you need to own the Infinite Warfare disc to play COD 4, and I guess, honestly, there's nothing we could really do about it. We are being held hostage. Because, I mean, I'm not a game developer, I'm not that educated on how it all works, but I don't think there's any legitimate reason that the two things need to be linked together. If one of them is a full game digital download, I see no reason why it needs to be linked to a disc. I think they've created this link just for business purposes, so I don't know, that's my opinion on it. It doesn't really matter for me, I guess, because I bought it digitally because I am planning on at least trying Infinite Warfare, but if I didn't do YouTube, I probably would have been one of the people who sold Infinite Warfare back. I probably wouldn't even tried to play it, but since I do YouTube, I'm going to give it a chance, and you know, if people like it, or if I like it even, you know, we'll see how it goes, but if I didn't do YouTube, I would be one of those people selling Infinite Warfare back. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below. Other than that, thank you guys all for watching. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day, and peace out.